Hey there crypto traders, Ian here and in today's video tutorial I am going to teach you about level 1 and level 2 quotes and show you how to read time and sales data. Additionally, I'll explain why it's essential to trade your crypto on only the most liquid markets if they're available. So let's get started by talking about the basic quote. Now, the basic quote includes the bid, which is the highest price someone is willing to pay, and the ask, which is the lowest price someone is willing to sell. And the difference between these two prices is known as the spread. And here you can see we're looking at Litecoin on the GDAX exchange. And this is important because the spreads on the bid and the ask are going to be different contingent on what exchange you're trading at. Right here you can see the bid ask spread is very efficient. It's only one cent wide uh, because you're looking at an exchange that has 98 million uh, dollars, US dollars, in volume traded in the past 24 hours. So that's the level one quote. Now moving on to level two quotes, this just gives you a more in-depth look at where are the buyers and where are the sellers. And in the case of Litecoin, you can see that there are significant buyers here at 283.10 where there's 53 coins bid and 283.29 there's 42 coins bid and then the sellers are at 283.75 there's 200 coins offered and there are, isn't much on the offer above that but the level one only gives you remember the 283.43 and 283.44 in level two you can see the in-depth look at the market. Uh, where is there significant resistance above and where is their support below? And another way to look on this in Coinigy is if you click on this tab right here this gives you the market depth. So this is a great visual representation of the buyers on the left in green and the sellers on the right in red and you can see there's these things called walls which means there are offers stacked up here at the 284 level and on the buy side there are also walls although they're not as high here at 281.01 and then at 282.60 you can see there's 645 coins now you can see this chart just moved obviously when sellers get lifted when offers get lifted or bids get hit you'll see the quantity change, right? So right now, the nearest term offer right here is 283.15, 15 coins. Uh, that actually didn't get lifted, but it's still here, 56 coins. Another seller came in and pushed the price down. So the next thing to look at is time and sales data, and that is this column uh, of data right here. And what this essentially represents is uh, what would be reported on the ticker or the ticker tape and what you have here is the actual trades that occurred and the arrow signifies if the trade was on an uptick or a downtick the quantity and then the time so if you look at these you can see that at 249 and 14 seconds there was an uptick to 282.50 where 79 coins traded the next trade at 20 seconds you had seven coins trade and you can see there's no uptick so it traded at the same price right so there might have been an offer there that was getting lifted at 50 cents uh, and then you get up here to 28 seconds after and then you've got a down tick at 282.49 a seller came in but he only sold six coins so what this is telling me in this moment right now there is significant buying pressure or there are more buyers than sellers right now in this marketplace. Now I mentioned earlier it was important to trade coins on exchanges where spreads are really efficient. So right here remember there's a one cent spread between the bid and the ask. If we go to other exchanges where Litecoin's traded, this is on GDAX, Let's say I go to the Bitrix exchange and I look at Litecoin versus the Tether. Uh, you can see these spreads are a lot wider. So the bid here is 278.50 and the ask is 280.40. Two, 
So this is almost a two dollar difference. It's a dollar eighty nine difference, and the volume on this today is only five point uh, three million dollars uh, have traded on it. Uh, so what what that means is if I go and buy this on Bitrix at two eighty forty, and I want to turn around, the bid here is two dollars lower. And this also means if we do have some type of uh, significant sell-off uh, or buying panic, uh, there's going to be a lot less liquidity on this exchange than there will be on trading something at, on GDAX. So there you have it. That is a level one quote, a level two quote, and time and sales data. Any other questions, please reach out to us at coinagy.com forward slash support.